Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I am reviewing here the QQQs. So the market actually gapped down on Friday morning, and just to review here where what it did and what exactly it did, the market gapped under the previous day's bar, so this was Thursday, and it also gapped under the close. So the close on Thursday was 130.01. Then we gapped down here to what? 129.47, not a huge gap down, but considering the fact that we've rallied literally, my goodness, look at that. We've, we rallied every day in the month of February. Every day we rallied in the month of February. That's crazy. We, we only got two more days left. So the funny thing is when I first glanced at the market in the morning on Friday morning, just before I even started scanning for gaps, I just, I just thought just a quick glance at the market was lower. Because I mean, we've been up for a month, fell in Thursday, got down Friday, but no. And then after I, right before the open, it might've been five minutes for the open, two minutes for the open on Friday, after I decided what gap to do and watch, uh, I said to the room that the market was gonna hold <laughs> in the gap down. And I said, this is crazy. And I said that to the room, but no one's probably gonna believe me, but I think the market actually holds today and rallies and if it doesn't get over the high from Thursday's bar, it will by Monday. So it looks like we're gonna carry through tomorrow, next week. I mean, I think even if we gap down tomorrow, we carry through. Gap down, gap neutral, gap up. We're gonna follow through and get over the high from Thursday, make another brand new all-time high in the market. So what are the next numbers? 131, 131, 50, 132, 132.25. I mean, there's just, you know, the QQQs are probably going to hit 150 before the end of the year. That's only 20 points away. I'm not saying we go straight there, but who knows? I mean, a deep pullback like people are wanting and dreaming and wishing they could have to go long into here, into 120. I don't see it happening anytime soon. I'm not saying that it couldn't happen, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Anyways, my ability to be able to read the market on Friday, which was possible and a, just a fantastic call, uh, spurned a discussion then that I'm going to write up in a lecture that I'm going to give out probably for the next week about the idea of focus, focusing on one thing, which all I do is gaps, mostly bearish gaps, but bullish gaps too. And I will tell you that that is how I'm able to predict something like Friday. So when I seriously looked at it then before the open and to read the gap in the market, the directional bias of it, I saw then that we would hold. And we did, and, and actually we held in the first five minutes of the day and we continued higher. And we almost really power trended actually all day. Let me just look here in the 15 minute where we started. Well, we held, held, see how we faked? And we faked lower here, held the low, which I even said in the room when I was talking at 10 o'clock, I said, this is a fake out, we're not gonna break. We didn't held and we really power trended and it took off. Oh, really, it was almost really like, it was late. Three o'clock, three fifteen. Yeah, so nice move up and very bullish. I mean, this is proof, more proof, as if you needed any more that of the bullishness of the market. And this has been on a steady incline. I mean, these are not big, massive green bars. We're just we've almost gapped up every day here and just held and gapped up a little and held and gapped up a little and held and gapped up a little more and held, and then gapped up in neutral, then gapped down and held, then we gapped up. And we held neutral, then we gapped up, fell, held, gapped down, rally, got bought. I mean, look, at this is what I'm talking about, people. I mean, this is how you read this stuff in here and how I'm reading the gaps. And so the, the way that I read gaps is allow me to predict price action. And I'm predicting that. I'm telling you that we're higher. We're going to get over Thursday's high tomorrow. We're going to get over Friday's high tomorrow and probably Thursday's high because it's not that far away. And we're going to get over it no matter what we do tomorrow in the gap. Unless we gap down some massively. So a neutral gap, small gap down, medium gap down, gap up, either way is higher tomorrow for the overall market. Unless we do some massive gap down, which could happen, but I don't think so. So this is how you can actually be successful. It's with the focus. And when you allow other things to distract you, other strategies, other systems, you know, stuff you hear in the news, whatever, it does take away from your heightened intuition, which I think is one of the reasons why I have an edge in my trading. The focus I have, the system I use, I don't look at anything else. Um, I don't need anything else. And it has allowed me to have a sixth sense and an intuition about things like Friday, 
it was an amazing call and I highly doubt anyone in any trading room called the market higher pre-market yesterday on Friday it, before the market opened. So learn how to trade gaps with me if you want to next weekend, March 4th and 5th. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com for more information. And, uh, you know, it's very exciting how bullish the market's been. I, I just, you know, we could go to all kinds of different numbers. I don't want to predict too far out. We'll just see where we go next week and play it out from month to month. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.